All right, welcome to video three. Yay! No, okay, whatever. So this next one, I was just showing off my English novelizations of Sailor Moon. And of course it starts with the first one here. A Scout is Born. I read this, when it first came out, I read this book like, Jesus, I don't know how many times, 50, well, more than that. If you look here, which you probably can't tell, the crease, it has a dirt stain, I guess you could say, for how many times I read it. But anyway, it was exciting at the time to have the book because, you know, it was Sailor Moon novelizations. And I'll, I'll go ahead and just admit that I did not like the writing in these books, especially with references to, like, um, Western pop bands and things like that, which is... Mm, I don't know. I'm not one that, that's like, oh, you know, I hate the dub and all that stuff, but I don't know. It was just like weird, weird in general. But I liked it what what, you know, what they did was that they um they novelized the episodes in order, even the episodes that were skipped when the um in the English dubs. So there's book 1 and book 2, The Power of Love. And I might be the only one, but I I don't, uh, I don't too much care for the, the Sailor Moon parts when she's by herself before she meets Mercury. So I think that's what these first two books was about that. Though I love the first book. I don't know. Ugh. It's just like, mm. but anyways, three when Mercury comes, Mercury rising, awesomeness, and then there's four Mars attack. And in the anime, I love when there's... I like when Jupiter comes. And, of course, Venus is my favorite. But in, in the anime, I like when it's just three of them. For, like, a long time, there's just three. There's just Moon, Mercury, and Mars. And I just... I love the, that little arc. They were fighting Nephilite and all that stuff. Because it was, it was just three of them. And I thought that was neat. And they combine their powers a lot. And then there's Eternal Sleep with Jedi. I'm pretty sure he died in this one. What's the what's the feeling? Spirit decided to ignore Darian so that she can go to the Sailor V game. Oh, let's look at the back. I think all the backs are the same. Yeah. Yeah, they're all the same. They're nice, though. There's some nice books. But shit, the writing, I don't know. Maybe I was just too old at the time. If they were for kids, maybe. Scouts on film. And I like this clip here because it's um, from one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. And then Sailor V's on the cover of Cellmates. Um, and it's still continuing the arc with Jedi. Excuse me, Nephlight. Ooh, I need to slap myself. Oh, there's the girl that, that wrote him. If anybody remembers, she was like big at one time. She wrote like fan fiction, and then the people at Mix or Tokyo Pop, whatever, whatever you have, asked her to, to write the novels. I think the um. Uh, this is Stu Stuart L, excuse me, Jay Levy. He wrote the first one. I remember that. And then, I don't know if he wrote the second one. Yeah, he did. He did the second one with her. Okay, so that's when she jumped into the picture. But anyway, Cellmates. And this contains one of my favorite episodes. Is the episode when the Gemini twins attack the sailor, Sinenshi's, which I love the episode. Too bad Venus didn't show up in there since she on the cover. Mm-hmm. Shine. Turn this bitch over. Turn this one over. And then the last book is Diamonds. Not forever. And this concludes the Jedi. Why well, I keep saying Jedi? The Nephilite arc. I believe. Yeah. Nephilite. Nephilite's eyes slowly open. Weakly. He turned his head to Zoicite. You'll never win. His voice 
though Deming was low and cold. Ooh, I kinda wanna read these again. I haven't read these things in forever. But it's only gonna piss me off because, you know, this is the last book. And Jupiter was surely gonna show up in the the book nine. From my understanding, um, they stopped writing them because well, maybe because sorry about the zoom, maybe because people didn't like me. Which I didn't make a big deal about it, but hell, you see, I bought them anyway. But maybe just just got too many complaints. But I I remember um, the girl who wrote them said that they no longer gave her any assignments, so she they just stopped making them. But damn, these things are cool. I'm glad I still got them. Too bad my name is all written inside of them, you know, from high school and everything. But yeah, these are neat. I'm so happy I still have them. And then I have the English of the character books. I try to put them in order here. Of course, I would love to have the Japanese ones, but you know, English just has to do. As I got older, I kind of started to lean more towards collecting videos which I can show off later I got like shoot like two different versions of season three and all that stuff anyway I love these books they are awesome I think um, I got Mars first they didn't come out in order I remember that but yeah Sailor Moon Damn, the pictures are so nice I wouldn't mind the English ones. And from what, from what I'm understanding, the Outer and she also had books too in Japan. I remember when these came out, it was before season um, three was on TV. And, you know, they had like little clips of um, Sailor Moon Super inside. And he's like, damn, all that happened? Uh, can I get the season? So, and I like the little steel shots of the transformations and all that stuff. You know, I'm looking at this like, what? She got a new brooch and everything. What else? And then Sailor Mercury. We'll turn this over. Oh, Amy is so cute. It's so funny. I think in the TV show, in the anime, Amy was the best dresser. Hands down, she was the best dresser in the anime. Which is crazy, because Venus is my favorite, and she was the worst dresser in the anime to me. Because she wore bows and frills and stuff. But in the manga, which of course, they were all dressed nicely, especially toward the end. Um, I think in the manga, Rey was the best dressed. So they all were stylish anyway in the manga because the manga was just off the chain like that. But anyway, Sailor Mars. I was watching um, Super yesterday and Mars bust out with the um, Fire Soul or Mars Fire Ignite Attack. And I was like, yeah, old school, baby. Super S, still old school. Oh, that was one of my favorite episodes. When I started recording the TV show when it came on um, USA, the summer of 97, this was the episode I first recorded when her and with Ray and Serena are um, trapped in the snow canyon. And I remember watching it at night, and I'm like, cool, I can watch Sailor Moon at night now, in the morning and night. Sailor Mars, my second favorite. And Sailor Jupiter looking good. Oh, she was naked over here. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go back and see. Mm. No, not for real. <laughs> yeah, really not for real. Wait, that was so 70s she had on? What is that? Oh my god. Oh, I still love her. And then my favorite Venus. 
which is probably have a dirt smudge on it too because I probably read it like crazy. Sorry, I got a new camera so I'm focusing all over the place. Love this episode when they fought the Black Moon Sisters. All the colorfulness. So that is my collection of the character books. I wish I had the Japanese ones. Hell, the words on the back are Japanese. That's good enough. Shoot. But yeah, that's great. I'm mad because I had to take them off my bookshelf because I needed some room. I wanna right put Sailor Moon off? What if? Well, I have these other mangas that I was gonna videotape, but. Um, this is the OMG. Oh, I had them for so long. I can't remember the name. I think it was Fiery Girl, Feverish Girl. But anyway, I initially bought them because I thought the woman who drew Peach Girl, Amiwa, was the artist. And it turns out it wasn't. So I had bought all the whole series and. It wasn't her. But it's okay because I still love them. Even though I haven't really read them. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. As usual, I love Sailor Moon stuff. So that's where we are.